really is becoming a treat as these volumes move along. I, I've seen Den, the first volume, and Move Ovum, Move Ovum, so many times, and I have the Catalan communication albums or whatever, however they were uh, originally published. I have those. I've seen these stories over and over and in issues of uh, Heavy Metal Magazine. So it's it's great to finally get to Children of Fire, which I have. I have the the individual issues, but I don't believe I had the final one. Because as I read it in this volume, it I didn't recognize it. Maybe portions of it. Maybe I've seen the cover. The story is, is uh, scattered, maybe fragmented. But always very interesting. And the colors and the artwork, the approach... Always, always uh, very, very curious and uh, impressive. I, I enjoyed the, the very quick introduction by Matt Kent and the afterwards behind the scenes of colorist retoucher Jose Villaruba. The reprint of The Den, I think it was uh, Grimwit, I think it's called. Yeah, very good. The first story the first section of children of fire there's a lot of play with up and down directional things falling down people going up then falling back down like on these pages here these examples eggs dropping down survivors popping up people coming out of the water Up stairwells, down ladders, falling off the tower. Climbing the tower, scaling the tower. Free solo the tower. Down ladders, up ladders. Uh, the island collapsing, killed, jumping off the tower. The, the, the island disappearing, coming up upheaval with the behemoth and then dropping back down into the uh, ocean. And then finally, the orb, the lock oh, guys, a preoccupation on orbs, Sinking. glowing orbs like the, the eggs and the lock the green lock I think that's what it's called in the comic series. I believe that's what it was called in the heavy metal movie, the animated movie. And I'm sure there's other things I want to say. There is a great little three-panel sequence I like a lot. With Kill, K-I-L, the, the, the female, who is the red priestess or whatever she is. Uh, she's on the sand with her bloodied head. And she's laying horizontal. And then we get a shot of her adversaries approaching or something. I don't have the book in front of me right now. but And then the third panel is the little, the little fetus, the little baby hatching from the egg. And it looks almost like her head from the first panel. It's, it's probably my, not my favorite sequence, but... One of the more memorable moments in it. I like the way that little baby arm and, and uh, leg is, is it's really good. Very simple. And there's a scene where uh, the, the green scaled like uh, orc character is going to eat the baby. And he's got the little round head in his mouth. Just the forms, the, the contours, the, uh, the shapes. They're really pleasant to look at. Um, and going back to Corbin experimenting or trying different things with colors and, and storytelling, there's a scene where there's a light illuminating the side of Kill's face, and her eye is just, her right eye is like reduced to just a dot, and everything else, there's no contrast, there's no form other than the side of her head. Stuff like that is, is just so interesting to see. And, uh, he... Corbin, he does things with the green orb, too, with the light emanating from it and the wizard holding it. And that continues on in the next couple of storylines. Uh, there's one where they have scuba gear on and they've got a light. And I know he does a lot of play with the light and the shadows and the light uh, the, the, the light rays coming up. I believe that's coming out this month, this next volume, October 24th. I saw the release date for that. And I am very excited to get that one. It's been a treat to get Murky World and Children of Fire. And I have to go back. I'm going to have to go back and read Den 2 and 3 just to refresh myself on it and see what it looks like. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this series and I look forward to, I believe there's two more Den. And then 
we get to Dim Dimwood, which is an as unpublished Corbin graphic novel, which I'm looking forward to seeing. We still have Bodicey, the Bodicey, the Bodicey to get to. Arabian Nights, those are fantastic, both of those. I'm hoping they do Bloodstar in color. I have I have Bloodstar the Hardbound book, but it's in black and white. I remember it was in color from the pages of Heavy Metal. I'm hoping they do Rat God. There's so much. I hope they do uh, The House on the Borderlands, which I have. But I don't know, copyright, does it get into issues with copyright with uh, DC Comics or whoever it was that published it? Was it Vertigo? I mean, I know that's DC Comics. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what else Dark Horse has coming. I know there's the Werewolf one. There's the Werewolf Collection. Uh, yeah, but very exciting. I'm getting it's getting it's getting good for me, the series. And I'm going to go back and I have to check out those dens because uh, I'm sure there's a lot of good revelatory stuff in the back and in the intros, and just to re-experience them with Dark Horse's format. <laughs> 